Hello everybody, it's uh, Frank Alambro Jr. and I'm going to make you guys a quick uh, tutorial video. And I'm going to show you guys a, um, a social icon plugin that I'm actually put on my blog. And this is what it looks like up here. And I got this on my blog, uh, OnlineWarriorNow.com. And this is the plugin that I'm going to show you guys today. Now, normally I use something called Simple Social Icons, and you can see this particular blog is FrankColambro.com, and these are the icons that I normally use. And these are, I can change the colors around and the, the highlight colors and all that kind of stuff. And if you look at FrankColambroJr.com, I use this one, right? Same thing. It's called Simple Social Icons, this particular plugin. But I found this plugin today and I thought it was kind of neat and I figured I'd share it with you guys real quick. Let me show you to you. If you go into plugins, I'll get you to show you the plugin name so you guys can look it up and find it. And I'll show you all the different options. I don't even know how to pronounce this. Uh, it looks like, like Acura X Social Media Widget. How do you say that? Uh, a Curex social media widget. I don't know how to say that. I have no idea. Uh, it's abbreviated ACX. I know that. But if you type this in, if you type in social media widget, it might be the uh, the first one that's listed. Let's see if we can find it real quick. Let's get this out of the way. And we'll see who makes it. Oh, yeah, it is the first one. Okay. So this particular version is 1.1. I'm not sure what version is going to be when you see this video. It, these change all the time as they improve and uh, change the plug-in a little bit. It's by, uh, I don't know how to say this word, Acura X, but that's who makes it. And it's the first one when you type in social media widget. It's the first one. So this is the particular plugin that I'm talking about, the one that I'm using, that I'm presently using. And actually, I looked at a couple of these, but I kind of like this one, and it was really simple to use. Let me show you guys how to use it. Now, once you install the plugin, you're going to get this little menu uh, put on the side over here, and you just click on the uh, settings right here. And let me show you the flexibility this thing has. you got a lot of different cool stuff you can do with this. Now you can pick different themes and you can see these different themes. Let's zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see this a little bit better. You can see these different themes. There's one, two, three, four. I believe there's like 24 different themes all together. Different shaped, you know, icons, different colors, all kinds of different stuff. You can pick the one that you like the best from this list. This is kind of cool. They got like little trucks with the... Uh, the little uh, logos on the side of the trucks but you can see all the different styles and different themes that you can pick from there's the one I'm presently using right there theme 22 and what you do is you come back here when you click on the settings and you pick all this stuff right here the size now that's kind of big 55 pixels by 55 you can pick you know whatever size you want that's kind of loud but you know what this particular blog is loud so it doesn't matter i want people i want it to stand out and pop one interesting thing too here is you can actually arrange the order of the icons you can switch these around and do it any way you want so that's kind of cool flexibility i like mixing up the colors i don't like having all the blues the same so i kind of like spaced out my blues like every other one but i guess it's not every other one but i got twitter google plus facebook pinterest and i got my youtube channel my linkedin and the rss at the end you know i want people to connect with me at all these social media sites and then down here you put in your information all your url information for the uh, for the social media uh, sites that you belong to, and these are the what I call the big five. Now, in the Twitter one, this is kind of important. Don't put the URL in there. I did that at first, and it didn't work, and I couldn't figure out why. The only thing you want to put in there is your username, so your Twitter username. Don't put the entire URL in this one. It showed you this little example, and I guess I didn't see that. Of course, even now that I do see it, it looks kind of crazy to me. Uh, but anyhow, just on the Twitter one, just put your username in there, not the entire URL. 
The rest of these, you want to put the entire URL, Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, your YouTube channel, your LinkedIn, and then, you know, your feed URL is just your website, forward slash feed probably. And then you just hit update right here, update your social icon. Now, once it's updated, let's go into our widget area. Let's see here. Where is appearance? Okay, appearance and then widgets. We'll go into our widget area. And you can see it's right here. So you just click and drag it and put it wherever you want to put it. Now, what I do, I like to have my social icons in my header because I want people to connect with me on my social media sites. I don't like, I used to hide them in the sidebar years ago. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Like I used to, let's click on blog over here. Like I used to hide these icons. Well, not hide them. I didn't, I didn't hide them, but I used to place them like somewhere in this sidebar, this side area. And, you know, I don't know, people are busy looking at a video and they might not be paying attention to this kind of stuff. You know, I put all kinds of stuff in the sidebar now. I try not to put too much stuff in my sidebar. You can see I try to keep it kind of clean, kind of simple. I try to keep my post. This is the information, my content, you know, in my sidebar. It's kind of important. I want to keep that on there. And then I always have an opt-in form on my sidebar, a little video right there talking about my, you know, one of my online opportunities. And then myself, I introduce myself up here in the top. So I like having my icons up here so it's at the top of the page before you scroll down so you don't have to scroll down to find them because I want people, and I put a little call to action here, connect with Frank Calabro Jr. You don't have to put nothing up here. People know what these are, but it's kind of like, you know, I want people to connect with me on Twitter and Google Plus and Facebook, etc. I want people to connect with me. So I put a little call to action on this particular site. On these other sites, I don't do that, you know. These are like more professional, I guess. This is kind of like my fun, you know, my fun blog, you know, have a good time over here. I don't have to be so strict with it. But once you uh, click and drag it wherever you want it, I put it up in the header like I showed you. I put my icons up here. Once you drag it over here, then you got some flexibility with this thing. Let me show you the adjustments. Okay, now there's the title. You can... Uh, you can write in something in there, or you can write nothing in there. I wrote down Connect with Frank Calabro Jr., but you don't have to put a title. You can just keep it plain. If you want nothing in there, put nothing in there. And then you got your icon size, so you can adjust this. Now, 55, 55, that's big. There's no, no, there's no doubt about that. That's loud. You can adjust it down, make them a little bit smaller. But for this particular site, I don't care if they're big. And then there's the icon theme. So if you want to change the theme, you just pick whatever number you want, 1 to 24. Just pick whatever number you want if you want to change the theme. We'll change it real quick, and I'll show you. And then you can align the icons. Like, I want mine to the right, but you can put center, left, or default. Okay, so you got three choices to align the icons. Then you just hit save. Okay, let's take a look at it real quick. Now we're going to refresh the page. And you can see I changed it. I put the little, the little trucks up there. Those are kind of cool. I kind of like those, actually. Maybe I'll leave those up there. Um, I do like those. They're not as loud either as those other, those other ones I was using. But you can experiment with these, and you can test different themes, and whichever one that you like the best, just go ahead and save it. And you can click through all of them if you want. I mean, if, let's go back and refresh it. And there it's back to the, the big icons. So whatever you want to do, you know, you can mess with this, try different ones. But I just wanted to show you that uh, show you that uh, widget. I mean that widget, that uh, social media. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a social media uh, uh, icon widget. It's called uh, Acura X or Acura X or however you pronounce it. But you guys can uh, look this up and uh, have some fun with it. Throw it up on your blogs and uh, allow people to connect with you on the social media sites. All right, and if you guys visit my blog over here, online warrior uh, now, uh, check out what I got over here. I got a boot camp uh, free marketing course right here. I also have a blogging course that's worth thousands of dollars. Take advantage of this. It's not going to be free forever. I can't give away this blogging course forever, but for right now, it is free. 
And you guys can check out what I'm doing online as far as opportunities. And uh, I do some reviews and all kinds of stuff like that. Be sure to connect with me on uh, Twitter and Google Plus and Facebook and all the rest of these places, Pinterest. Check out my YouTube channel and uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. All right, you guys take care. God bless, and thank you for stopping by.